You know what really bugs me? solution quick release plates and I've kindly been sent the Falcam quick release system and they're so good because you can use them on anything for example one bit on your camera and then the base plate on whatever you want so I've got one on this tripod here I've got one on the tripod that I'm using right now with the other camera and I've also got I've also got one on my gimbal there we go. And it's super handy because as you saw, it means I don't have to keep screwing and unscrewing different plates all the time. I leave the plates on my main pieces of gear like my tripod, gimbal, Joby, Gorilla Pod, for example. And then all you do is just slide the quick release plate straight on there. And it's super easy. It's even got this little locking mechanism. So it's not going anywhere, even if you accidentally press that release button you know it's safe. You just pull that out and twist it and then you can push it in, it unlocks it, and you can slide it out. I like it because you can hear it click in place. Even when it's not locked, it's still locked in place. It just means that you don't accidentally pull that button out. They've even got, they've even got one for your backpack. So, So if you're going on a hike and you take your camera and you want to read a map or something, then you can pop your camera there without putting it in your bag. And when you need it quickly, bosh, there you go, ready to go. Love that one. Suit is really secure as well, but it doesn't stop there because they also do one for your camera strap. So you can actually have your camera around your neck like that on the strap, but then if you want to take it off, you just unclip it, super easy, love it. So great selection. They've got even more on their website as well. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and have a look. Loads of different types. These are amazing, absolutely love them. If you don't have these, strongly recommend it because they will save you so much time and frustration with having to constantly screw and unscrew your plates all the time from your camera. Especially at weddings and shoots like that because you're constantly moving from a tripod to a monopod or a gimbal and stuff like that. So it's just, just a perfect solution. The only thing I would change about them is the thumb screws. If they had the folding wing thread then that would be amazing because then you wouldn't need to carry your 5p or your or your flathead tool with you so that would be the only thing that i would want to see on the next version of these other than that they're amazing the safety mechanism is spot on they're well made look great and they're small because a lot of these things can be quite cumbersome on you on your equipment and this doesn't add much weight or size especially if you're putting it on a gimbal or something like that in other news, if you saw my last video, my vlog, you'll know that I've got this Panasonic S1H on loan from Lumix. Super excited to use it. I've switched it on, but the menu system coming from Canon is so confusing, so I need to get used to that. But I'm really looking forward to trying it, so definitely stay tuned for the updates on that. I'm going to be using it a lot over the next couple of weeks. Don't miss it. So make sure you hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new video so you don't miss anything. I know, I always forget. Switch something on. There we go then. There you go, for the last bit of the video we've got some, a little bit more lighting in the background. In other news. <laughs> right, package number one. 
so I've got some step up rings and some step down rings so I can use my ND filter on all of my lenses. I was going to get some of these a while ago but didn't but I've done it now because I've got the S1H and I want to use that outside so I need the ND filter on there so I thought I'd just bite the bullet and go for them because they'll always come in handy and I'll leave and I'll leave a link in these in the description as well. Definitely worth picking up some and then you don't have to buy loads of different expensive filters. What's in this one? Forget what. Ah. New monitor mount for the DJI RS2 because I've got the arms. Again, full video coming on this soon. I've got about three monitor mounting plates, but on here, there's no way, to, they don't, they're different threads. So I've had to order a new one and then hopefully it will fit. Yes, there we go. So I've got my monitor mount on there now. Monitor can go there and it's out of the way. Again, I'm gonna do a full video review on this, including why I chose the DJI arms instead of the small rig arms. I may as well tell you now. <laughs> Basically, because it's got that little swivel arm on it so you can go into briefcase mode, like so. And it's got more mounting options there. Obviously, that means your, your monitor is gonna be in the wrong place. You just gotta plan ahead how you want to use the gimbal and where you want to put your monitor before you're using each application. So I could, if I wanted to, mount my monitor on this side if I know I'm going to be using the briefcase mode, but that's a quick fix. You could even pop another monitor mount on that side if you wanted to for a quick swap, although it might interfere with that, I'm not sure. I'm going to start using this more because I miss using a gimbal. And then lastly, I've wanted one of these for a while now. I think it will come in very handy because not only am I terrible at remembering what to say, but I'm also going to be doing some live stuff and I will be using it a lot. So, may as well do it now. Teleprompter. I'm going to be doing a full review on this as soon as I get to grips with it and as soon as I've used it a few times. I'll leave a link below anyway if you want to check it out if you've been after one. But I went for this one because I don't have an iPad. I've only got an iPhone, so it's the smaller version, but with it being smaller, your eyes focus in a smaller area so they're not looking around like that, like a, on a bigger screen and, and you can still notice it. Don't forget, in my last video, I announced that I'm gonna be doing a shout out to somebody in at the end of each video. So if you've got a channel and you want to grow your subscriber count, all you've gotta do is like this video and leave a comment down below and I'm gonna read all the comments. I'm gonna look at your channel and then I'm gonna choose somebody to give a shout out and a mention at the end of the video. It could be you. All right, I'm almost to clean up. Before I go, let me know if you've got any questions about the S1H, because that'll be interesting actually. What do you want to see from this? I haven't got a clue, not done my research yet, but I will be doing. It's gonna be a lot of time spent figuring this beast out. Let me know what you think to the quick release system in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gear reviews, tutorials, and vlogs. Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, nice one.